this shoot I've had in my mind for absolutely ages, smoke trees, musicians, like not just, not just guitarists, piano, whatever, whatever, just, just smoke and nature and atmosphere, right? And um, so Ross was round for this barbecue and I just, I was like, it's got to happen now. It's, it's happening. Come on, look at that light. Just look at that light. Um, but, you know, bear in mind when you are looking at these pictures, it was a barbecue. The garden is full of stuff, absolutely full of stuff. Um, the washing line is right in the blooming eye line, isn't it? And there's tables and there's chairs and the light is catching all of that junk. Really annoying. Um, so in an ideal world, we would be in a forest with none of that stuff around and plenty of like plenty more smoke and um, longer cables, you know, so we could move stuff all around. And, you know, it would be the perfect scenario for the perfect shot. But we had to work with what we had. So we gave it a really good shot. We had loads of fun. And I love the pictures. Um, there's so many of them, and I'm going to share them all and the music as well. Um, one thing I do need to work on is getting, getting um, like, because I love shallow depth of field behind, but I'm finding that, like, one of Ross's hands would be in focus, and then the, the hand in front that's falling in front of the other one is falling out of focus. This is something um, I, I should have learned from because years ago when I shot hit Ross with um, the suit and the cigar in his hand in the studio, the hand that was sat just um, in front of where I was focusing was out of focus. So I really need to work on this. And I think that the lens that actually has just arrived would have been perfect for this shoot of Ross in the garden because I was shooting at um, 2.8. So, you know, it was... And, and where the lens wasn't very sharp when I was shooting with the D824 to 85 mil lens um, because the obviously the background was sharper because I was at 2.8 and the sharpness of the actual subject subject that I'm focusing on wasn't particularly sharp. It hasn't got that crispness and the shallow depth of field. So I think if I'd have had this lens for that shoot, they would have been even better results. And obviously, if I had a tidy garden and all of that as well, and a bit more space with cables and, but yeah, no, we're learning and we can keep building on this vision and keep trying it out. So you've got loads more clues now as to what is in this box. Have you guessed what lens it is yet? I'm really excited. And I had to take a um, bit of a risk because I've never tried this lens out. So yeah, so I'm just going to, at the shoot tomorrow, see what happens. <clears throat> so stay tuned. Bye. Sweet Yeah.